I mean, for some of you all who are doing it, saying you should not be really giving users to oblige the whole concept of pressing Alt F4 to quit the game. I do think quitting a game is very practical. It would be nice and much easier if the game would end with one key press, like for example, Escape. Well, this is a very simple to do multimedia fusion. Developer could do this very simply. So we can make an event with a condition with an action to make it much more easier to quit the game. How do we do? We go to new condition, click on it and we select the keyboard command, the mouse pointer and keyboard, we right click. We go to keyboard and select upon key press. And this now will give us the option how to press any key. And I am gonna press the escape key on my keyboard. And you would notice in my event the escape key comes up. But we are not finished as yet. What we need to do now is to go by the storyboard controls, which is this one here. Right? And we need to select the option end application as part of an action. So we're gonna right click here and select the option end application. So when we run the game, and let me just save this here, run in the frame editor, I can select escape and it's going to close. But since we are here, let us explore all these other options on top here. For example, this special one here is called the special object. This object contains many actions and conditions to perform complex tasks in multimedia fusion developer. It will be more important to you as you become an advanced user. Very important. This option here, the speaker, contains actions to play songs and music and conditions to know whether this or that song or music is playing. We're going to be using that in our next tutorial. The storyboard, as we spoke about just now there, contains actions and conditions to regulate the flow of the application going from one frame to the other or quitting an application. The timer huh, object contains to perform action at specific moments in the application. The new object allows you to create a new object, duplicate an object already in your application or while you are running an application, a single monster could become 10 or more in this way here. But you're going to be using this very soon. Then there is the mouse and the keyboard object that contains necessary conditions to test your mouse. And then there is the player one object contains actions to change the score and the number of lives of the player. We are going to be using this option here in this game.